So if we want to take these um, exercises further than just the pencil, here's one that I started with pencil um, of the first exercise in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and God was with the word. So you could work on it a little bit with pencil. Then if you want to take it further with um, tissue paper and, and ink, you would take some, some glue. You can use either white glue or you can use um, an acrylic medium watered down and put that glue on your paper. And then you could put the tissue paper off into that glue and press it down. And if you didn't get the glue everywhere, you can always sneak a little bit underneath. Because you want it to be want it to be fixed on there. Yeah. So press it down, and don't press so hard that you tear your, your tissue, but do get it united. And then you could use a little bit of, of ink. This is ink. This is India ink with a little bit of uh, water in it. And so if you put that on, you see that the ink does this nice um, spreading thing. I don't know, I don't really have anybody to film this, so I don't know if that worked, but maybe you saw more that way. And um, so you get the nice little feathering, and then you could also spread that out blend it a little bit. So with some water and some medium, maybe a little bit more this so that it makes a nice transition. Yeah. And then of course you could do the other side as well. Here's another piece of tissue that could go on. And they can go right over each other, overlapping. And it'll do some strange things, you know, as it takes the ink, but you'll get used to it. And it can be quite beautiful. Just spread it out again. Get those bubbles out. Because even though they're kind of cool when it's wet, they don't so well when it's dry. So then a little bit more of the ink and then come around and encourage it to bleed in that nice spreading way. And then if you take, if you want it to be even more dramatic, you can take the India ink itself, you know, just full strength. And that will make a strong contrast. You can spread that out a little bit. Oh, that's nice, huh? Where it pushes underneath there and makes a little, a little bubble. And then you can come all the way around and be working with the darkness and the light. And um, then you really could do all sorts of things after that. Now, let's just say, you know, all, in the beginning was the Word and all things were made through Him. So I sometimes think it would be nice to put hands there. So I have these little hands that I had made as little stamps. 
And then I could put them in. Oops, that's a little bit not so clean. Yeah. Okay, so there's the one blue hand going that way. And then if I turn my paper over, I could put a hand going the other way. Maybe right in here, even. Would be nice. Yeah, there. There, all things were made through him. Yeah, so that gives you an idea of how it can work. And then as you, as it dries, once it gets dry, you can then come into it, you know, with pen or, or pencil when it's dry. Once you won't be worried about um, tearing the tissue. So here I can draw on it with a little bit of a, of a pen, even though it's not dry yet. Yeah. Okay, that's your tutorial. Hope you have a good time.